And we're back. Let's click on the fishing rod right here and then click on the hook. Now you have to have the worm for this step, okay? Let's turn the worm sideways just like this. I don't know why, but this is a really awkward thing to do. But I got I got lucky that time. Usually I can't do that first try, but whatever. Now let's click on the fishing rod. Thank you very much. And uh, let's go fishing. All right. Hey there, little fish. How's it going? You get there's a nice, delicious, juicy worm on the hook. Just waiting for you. See it wiggle? See it wiggle? It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. It's just there for your meal. I'm just trying to feed you. Yes. It's safe. It's a. Oh my god! Get, get it. Move. Move, 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 move! See the icon in the upper right? You gotta move the Wii Remote the same way. Da, 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 da. You move the Wii Remote at the wrong time and the line will break. Timing is everything in fishing! Move, 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 move. <laughs> and so wait! Stop! Stop! This is an epic fish battle of epic proportions! Stop! 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 Oh, I was shaking it when it went doo doo! Shoot! Move, move, da, 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 da. No, shoot! I'm, the line's gonna break because I keep jumping the gun. <laughs> da, 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 da. And then I gotta get another worm. Okay, stop! No, shoot. And it gives the fish more health, by the way, if you make mistakes. Stop! Okay, 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 we can do this, we can do this. Just gotta play it safe, gotta play it cool. It'll probably take me two tries to do it. It usually, yeah, it took me one try. That was one bad try, and uh, let's go get another worm. Alrighty, and we're back with more fishing action. I gotta say, that's kind of violent to worms, you know, sticking them through the hook, through there with the hook. Come on, fishy. Come on, you know you want that worm. You can do it. Come on, you can. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's safe. Don't worry. Ah, move, 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 stop. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to jump the gun this time. I don't want to jump the gun. Hopefully, we'll get it this time. Move, 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 move. Go, 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 stop. Stop, stop. Stop. Relaxing. Move, 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 go, go, stop. <laughs> I'm just trying to predict my way through this. Go, 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 go. All right, we got the fish. We are the greatest fishermen alive. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if you did that first try, you would have got a perfect score. So it all comes down to practice. Anyway, let's uh, go down, I mean, go into here. And we'll go into the lake with the fish. Yes, that's the only way to get down here. That fish will only one hit kill you if you try and pull this plug out right down here. Which is actually what we're going to do right now. Why would we want to pull out the plug in the lake? Come on, tell us why. Alright. Well, well. You'll be able to see in, in, in just a sec. Up, oh, up, oh, a oh, pull. There we go. All right. Let's see what happens when that water goes through that chute. It is going to lift up the key up through this well to the other side. Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you very much. I know that was awesome. And uh, let's go up the vine to grab that key. Yeah, I believe you do have to go up the vine first, but I'm not sure. You might be able to do it. Um, I'm just plugging the lake back up since this area right here has got enough water, but I'm not sure about that. I'm going to see in just a second. I forgot to check that on my first run through the game. But yeah, this is only my second run through the game, but basically, this is... Oh, watch us, watch us. Zack is an idiot. <laughs> Anyway, as I said, this is my second run through the game, but if you uh, go through the game once, you could pretty much do it each and every time. Now, uh, ding ling ding this. See the skull over here that I went near? Okay, you're gonna play a little mini game here. I'm gonna do as many as these can throughout, to, as many as these, as many as I can through the game. This is Bone Lich. I am the Barbaros Orchestra Concert by Star, Bone Lich von Skelezzi. Those old bones ache to hear Barbaros' favorite melody ring forth. Swing the remote in time with the bell marks. When, a t when the line appears, keep shaking the Wii remote. Now let the bell ring forth. Alright, you gotta hold it kinda like this. Oh, actually, I gotta talk to him first. Alright, here we go, mini game time. It's uh, basically uh, an 8-bit version 
of, I mean, it's a 8-bit song back in the NES era of some game that Capcom made. They even have Mega Man tunes. Oops, I messed that up. I'm trying to figure out what this tune is. Maybe I haven't played the game before. I don't know. This is actually the first time I found the skull, and I did pretty dang well there. It, uh, depending on how well you do determines on... Uh, determines... Um... Like, if you beat the minigame or not. It never says how well you did until you do it. But this is Secret Treasure Map 3, by the way. I don't know where 2 and 1 are, honestly. I haven't found all the treasure maps. But anyway, let's grab this cork once again. This is, a, I guess it's a spring plug. And let's just put it back into place right now. And, uh, thank you very much. Woohoo! Yay! But yeah, I haven't found all the Secret Treasure Maps. Nor do I intend to in this walkthrough, because I don't think I'll, uh likely be able to find them on my own because I'm sure some of them are really well hidden since this is a puzzle game after all. And let's just see, um, hold on a sec. Uh, yes, the well is still filled up, so you could just put that plug back in right away. And uh, let's grab this key. Yes, yeah, so you gotta click in the water to swim through it. Yeah, that's how swimming works in this game, and we got the key. Now we're going to go down through this deep, watery passage. Don't worry, you won't drown or anything. For some reason, you have unlimited air. And now we're going to go up, 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 and away to the door where the treasure sleeps. And, uh, yep, we're out. Woohoo! Hello, door. This is a key. I'm putting it in the hole. We're going to turn that key. Uh, I said turn that key. Turn. There we go. <laughs> There, uh, yeah, the door shall open, and there is our treasure. So let's grab that treasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know I am a genius, but you don't have to say it. Ding, 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 Thank you very much. And this appears to be a Bushu a beat Abshu straight to his leg. Thank you very much. And we are going to cut to the next Alright, we have unlocked the boss stage, which is King of the Jungle. But we are not going to do that yet, because we need all the treasures in the game to progress. This is going to be three colossus. Man, I hate loading screens, don't you? I just gotta cut through those things as I go. So, uh, yeah, these are the three colossi, I guess. And uh, we're going to start by clicking on this middle thingy right here. See the middle platform here? Okay, we're gonna look up here. See these? See that? See that? How that works? Keep in mind how that looks. Now so grab one of these pieces. Dang camera ran out of memory. Okay, flip this piece around like this, and A button to put it in place, and then you do the other identical piece the same way, with arrows pointing down, and then you do the head, which you have to flip around like that. They are, they are random, they are completely randomly placed, you gotta do it differently each time. Then press that switch. If you did it correctly, this will happen. And this crank pops out. Thank you. Thank you very much. I got a crank. Woohoo! Alright, what are we gonna do with this crank? Well, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with this crank. We're going to put it right in this one. And, uh, see this? I have the wrong side. So you gotta tilt the Wii Remote up just like this. And he'll switch sides. Yes, it's a double-sided crank, as you can see right there. And turn it all the way around, just like this. Turn it just like this. Around and around we go. Where it still stops, no one will know. Okay. <laughs> And there we go, we've got this thing. What is this thing? Well, I'm gonna show you what this thing is, because it is vital to this puzzle. And it is the totem head, and we're gonna go all the way over here with it, and click on this red button right here. What this red button does, so well, I'm gonna actually place it on top of this red button. What it does is that it makes this snake head trigger the trap, only that trap will not trigger until you, uh, flip around the statue's arms. So let's go over to here and uh, let's go flip this around. 
Thank you very much, and into the hole we go. That's what she said, and around and around we go. And if you were to have done this in any other order, you will die, and I will show you why in just a second. So hold on. Here we go! It goes down, down, and goes into this hole, which flips this pot and hits the gong which for some reason knocks over those statues as it falls over like dominoes which makes this massive ball come out of this Voss and oh my god we are out of the way if we were to did that in any other order we would have died Woo! and it's time to go to the treasure chest which is up the stairs and up we go Woo! and dingy 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 Thank you, and let's get our treasure, and that will do it for this part, so I guess I shall see you guys in the next part, because I'm going to try and cram this all into one, if I can. Bye guys! Oh wait, no, result screen. Okay, 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 there we go.